Think Your Way to Success by Mark Rhodes is a book that challenges the reader to change their thinking patterns and develop a mindset for success. In the introduction, Rhodes presents the concept of the inner game, which refers to the mental attitudes and beliefs that shape our experiences and outcomes in life. He argues that success is not just about hard work and talent, but also about how we think and perceive ourselves. Rhodes shares his own story of overcoming limiting beliefs and negative self-talk to achieve success in his career and personal life. He emphasizes the importance of taking responsibility for our own thoughts and emotions, and offers practical strategies for changing negative thinking patterns and developing a positive mindset. Throughout the book, Rhodes uses real-life examples and exercises to help readers apply the principles of the inner game to their own lives. He covers topics such as goal-setting, visualization, affirmations, and mindfulness, and provides guidance for overcoming obstacles and setbacks. Overall, the introduction sets the stage for a practical and engaging exploration of the power of the mind in achieving success. Rhodes' engaging writing style and relatable anecdotes make this book an inspiring and informative read for anyone looking to transform their thinking and achieve their goals. Part 1 – Success Chapter 1 – The Secret to Life in Chapter 1 of Think Your Way to Success, Mark Rhodes introduces readers to the concept of the law of attraction. He explains that this universal law states that like attracts like, and that our thoughts and beliefs are the key to attracting what we want into our lives. Rhodes emphasizes that this law is not a secret or a mystery, but a fundamental aspect of how the universe operates. Rhodes encourages readers to take control of their thoughts and beliefs, and to focus on what they want rather than what they don't want. He explains that this shift in mindset can help individuals attract positive outcomes and experiences into their lives. He also cautions readers against focusing on negative thoughts and beliefs, as these can manifest negative outcomes and experiences. Rhodes concludes the chapter by urging readers to take responsibility for their lives and to embrace the power of their thoughts and beliefs. He emphasizes that the law of attraction is not a quick fix or a magic solution, but a powerful tool for personal growth and transformation. Chapter 2 – Introduction to Success Chapter 2 provides readers with an introduction to the concept of success. Mark Rhodes explains that success is not just about achieving goals or accumulating wealth, but also about experiencing fulfillment and happiness in all areas of life. He emphasizes that success is a journey rather than a destination, and that it requires ongoing growth and development. Rhodes provides readers with a framework for defining success, which includes setting goals, developing a positive mindset, and taking action. He encourages readers to be clear about what they want to achieve and to create a plan for reaching their goals. He also emphasizes the importance of maintaining a positive attitude and belief in oneself, and of taking consistent action towards one's goals. Rhodes concludes the chapter by urging readers to take action towards their goals and to embrace the journey of success. He reminds readers that success is not a matter of luck or talent, but rather a result of mindset and action. Chapter 3 – The Confidence Levels Chapter 3 focuses on the importance of confidence in achieving success. Mark Rhodes explains that confidence is a critical component of success, as it enables individuals to take action towards their goals and to overcome obstacles and challenges. Rhodes introduces readers to the concept of the confidence levels, a framework for understanding the different levels of confidence that individuals may experience. The confidence levels range from level 0, which represents a complete lack of confidence, to level 10, which represents total confidence and belief in oneself. Rhodes provides readers with practical strategies for increasing their confidence levels, including positive self-talk, visualization, and taking action towards one's goals. He emphasizes the importance of celebrating small victories and building momentum towards larger goals. Rhodes concludes the chapter by encouraging readers to embrace their current confidence level and to take action towards increasing their confidence. He emphasizes that confidence is not a fixed trait, but rather a skill that can be developed through practice and effort. Chapter 4 – What Makes a Successful Person Successful? In Chapter 4, Mark Rhodes explores the traits and habits of successful people. He emphasizes that success is not a matter of luck or talent, but rather a result of consistent effort and certain key behaviors. Rhodes identifies several key habits of successful people, including setting clear goals, taking consistent action, being adaptable and flexible, and embracing failure as a learning opportunity. He also emphasizes the importance of a positive mindset and a willingness to learn and grow. Rhodes encourages readers to adopt these habits and to make them a part of their daily routine. He also emphasizes the importance of taking ownership of one's actions and results, and of not making excuses or blaming external factors for lack of success. Rhodes concludes the chapter by reminding readers that success is within their reach, and that it requires a willingness to work hard, stay focused, 
and continuously learn and grow. Chapter 5 The Goals Formula Chapter 5 introduces readers to the Goals Formula, a step-by-step -step process for setting and achieving goals. Mark Rhodes explains that the Goals Formula is a powerful tool for clarifying one's goals and creating a plan for achieving them. Rhodes breaks down the Goals Formula into six steps. Identify the goal, create a specific and measurable outcome, set a deadline, identify the obstacles, create a plan of action, and take consistent action towards the goal. Rhodes provides readers with practical strategies for each step of the goals formula, including visualizing success, breaking goals down into smaller, manageable steps, and overcoming obstacles through persistence and adaptability. Rhodes concludes the chapter by emphasizing the importance of taking action towards one's goals and of maintaining a positive attitude and belief in oneself. He encourages readers to use the goals formula as a framework for achieving success in all areas of life. Chapter 6 A Brief Recap on Goals Chapter 6 provides readers with a brief recap of the importance of goal setting and the goals formula. Mark Rhodes reminds readers that setting clear and specific goals is a critical component of success, as it enables individuals to stay focused and motivated towards their desired outcomes. Rhodes emphasizes that the goals formula is a flexible tool that can be applied to any type of goal, whether personal or professional. He encourages readers to take the time to identify their goals and to create a plan of action for achieving them. Rhodes also highlights the importance of staying flexible and adaptable in the pursuit of one's goals, and of adjusting one's approach as necessary. He reminds readers that success is not a linear process, but rather a journey that requires continuous learning and growth. Rhodes concludes the chapter by urging readers to take action towards their goals and to use the goals formula as a guide for achieving success in all areas of life. Part 2. Being the best you that you can be. Chapter 7. How your brain manages experiences. Chapter 7 explores the workings of the brain and how it manages experiences. Mark Rhodes explains that the brain is a powerful tool for processing information and that understanding its functions can help individuals to achieve greater success and fulfillment in life. Rhodes introduces readers to the concept of the reticular activating system, a network of neurons in the brain that filters and prioritizes incoming sensory information. He explains that the RAS is responsible for determining what we notice and pay attention to and that it can be trained to focus on positive and helpful information. Rhodes provides readers with practical strategies for training the RAWs, including visualization, affirmations, and gratitude. He emphasizes that these strategies can help individuals to focus on the positive aspects of their lives and to attract more positive experiences. Rhodes concludes the chapter by encouraging readers to take control of their thoughts and beliefs and to use the power of the brain to achieve their goals and dreams. Chapter 8. Strategies Chapter 8 focuses on the power of thinking and the role it plays in achieving success. Mark Rhodes explains that the way we think about things has a direct impact on our emotions, behaviors, and outcomes. Rhodes introduces readers to the concept of cognitive restructuring, a process of identifying and changing negative thought patterns. He provides readers with practical strategies for cognitive restructuring, including reframing negative thoughts, practicing mindfulness, and challenging negative beliefs. Rhodes also emphasizes the importance of self-talk and the impact it can have on one's mindset and behavior. He encourages readers to adopt positive self-talk habits and to avoid negative self-talk, which can be detrimental to one's confidence and success. Rhodes concludes the chapter by reminding readers that thinking is a powerful tool for achieving success, and that adopting a positive and empowering mindset is essential for reaching one's goals and dreams. Before we continue, we would like to inform you that we release these summaries in audio format on Spotify before we release them on YouTube in video format, with subtitles. We have also created a goldmine of information which you can get exclusive access to by supporting us on Patreon. You get in-depth summaries plus scripts, usually twice the length of our YouTube content, a list of the top 20 key takeaways and exercises, summary requests, and more. Thank you for the support and don't forget to hit the like button. Chapter 9 – Visualizing for Success Chapter 9 explores the power of visualization and its role in achieving success. Mark Rhodes explains that visualization is a technique that involves creating vivid mental images of one's desired outcomes and that it can be a powerful tool for creating positive change. Rhodes provides readers with practical strategies for visualization, including creating a clear and specific image of the desired outcome, using all of the senses to create a vivid mental image and repeating the visualization regularly to reinforce it in the mind. Rhodes also emphasizes the importance of belief in the visualization process, 
and encourages readers to cultivate a deep sense of belief in the possibility of achieving their desired outcomes. Rhodes concludes the chapter by reminding readers that visualization is a powerful tool for achieving success, and that with practice and persistence, it can help individuals to create the life they truly desire. Chapter 10 The Comfort Zone Chapter 10 focuses on the concept of the comfort zone and its impact on success. Mark Rhodes explains that the comfort zone is a mental space where individuals feel safe and comfortable, but that it can also limit growth and prevent individuals from achieving their full potential. Rhodes encourages readers to step outside of their comfort zones and to embrace new challenges and experiences. He provides readers with practical strategies for expanding their comfort zones, including taking small, incremental steps, setting specific goals, and seeking out support and guidance. Rhodes also emphasizes the importance of persistence and resilience in the face of discomfort and challenges. He encourages readers to push through discomfort and to maintain a positive attitude and belief in oneself. Rhodes concludes the chapter by reminding readers that stepping outside of one's comfort zone is a critical component of success and that with practice and effort, individuals can expand their comfort zones and achieve their goals and dreams. Chapter 11 Inner Critic to Inner Coach Chapter 11 focuses on the inner critic and its impact on self-esteem and confidence. Rhodes explains that the inner critic is a voice within that can be harsh and critical, and that it can prevent individuals from achieving their full potential. Rhodes introduces readers to the concept of the inner coach, a positive and supportive voice within that encourages individuals to believe in themselves and to pursue their goals and dreams. He provides readers with practical strategies for developing the inner coach, including positive self-talk, visualization, and affirmations. Rhodes also emphasizes the importance of self-compassion and the ability to forgive oneself for mistakes and failures. He encourages readers to adopt a growth mindset and to view challenges and setbacks as opportunities for learning and growth. Rhodes concludes the chapter by reminding readers that the inner critic can be transformed into an inner coach, and that with practice and effort, individuals can cultivate a positive and supportive mindset that will help them to achieve their goals and dreams. Chapter 12 The Power of Thoughts Chapter 12 explores the power of thoughts and their impact on behavior and outcomes. Mark Rhodes explains that thoughts are powerful tools for shaping one's reality and that understanding their power can help individuals to achieve greater success and fulfillment in life. Rhodes introduces readers to the concept of cognitive bias, a tendency for individuals to perceive and interpret information in ways that confirm their existing beliefs and assumptions. He provides readers with practical strategies for overcoming cognitive bias, including seeking out alternative perspectives and challenging one's own assumptions. Rhodes also emphasizes the importance of taking action and using one's thoughts to drive positive behavior and outcomes. He encourages readers to adopt a proactive mindset and to take responsibility for their own thoughts and actions. Rhodes concludes the chapter by reminding readers that thoughts are powerful tools for shaping one's reality, and that with practice and effort, individuals can use their thoughts to create the life they truly desire. Conclusion Putting it all together in the conclusion of Think Your Way to Success, Mark Rhodes emphasizes the importance of taking action and applying the principles outlined in the book. He reminds readers that success is not a passive process, but requires effort, commitment, and persistence. Rhodes encourages readers to adopt a growth mindset, to view challenges and setbacks as opportunities for learning and growth, and to remain focused on their goals and dreams. He emphasizes the importance of positive self-talk visualization, and goal-setting in achieving success, and encourages readers to practice these techniques on a daily basis. Rhodes also reminds readers that success is not just about achieving external accomplishments, but also about cultivating inner peace, happiness, and fulfillment. He encourages readers to take care of their physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being, and to cultivate positive relationships with themselves and others. Overall, the conclusion of Think Your Way to Success provides readers with a roadmap for achieving success and fulfillment in all areas of life. By applying the principles outlined in the book, readers can cultivate a positive and supportive mindset, take inspired action, and create the life they truly desire.